Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anybody have kids? I'm expecting that. Oh, she's here. Okay, so, so thank you for asking me about kids, because kids today have a different relationship than when I was their age with my parents. They smoke weed with their parents. They trade medications with their parents. And they talk about sex and sexuality with their parents, openly. For example, an old woman who sent her daughter away to college for the first time, and she sent her a care package. And in that care package, she had a vibrator, condoms, and something called a, a vaginal dam. I think it's for oral sex or something. So the daughter calls her up and says, Mom, what's this all about? She said, well, I sent you the uh, vibrator in case you don't meet anybody. I sent you the condoms in case you do. And I sent you the vaginal dam because you might be a lesbian then. <laughs> in my house, um, we do most of our, our, our communication by text. My son Richard is usually upstairs, and I'm usually downstairs, and I'll text him, uh, come down for dinner. And he'll text me back, I'll eat later, and I'll text him. This isn't a fucking restaurant. <laughs> so to my surprise, a couple of months ago, he texts me. Dad, can I speak to you? I said, in person? He said, yes. I said, okay, come down. So I hid all my money. And he came down and I said, you got taller. <laughs> What's up? He said, Dad, will you go with me to the Romantic Depot? I said, the Romantic Depot? Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's like the Home Depot. You can get anything you want, but for sex. So I said, uh, why do you need to go to the Home Depot? He said, well, you know, I got this new girlfriend, Janet. And, and, and she likes a little, like, flavor down here. I said, flavor? I said, okay, I'll go with you. So we got in the car, and we drove to the Romantic Depot, which happens to be behind a strip mall. No pun intended. And they have a private parking lot. And in the parking lot, all the spots are marked, straight and gay. All the straight spots are taken. I'm thinking, I can't park in a gay spot. Get out of the car with a young boy and walk into a sex shop. So I parked in the handicap spot. So we got out of the car. And we walk into the place, and a young lady comes up to us with purple hair under her arms, gun on her head, and she says, how may I help you? So Richard looks at me and he said, tell her what I want. I'm like, ah. Okay, well, my son uh, has this new girlfriend, Janet, and she likes a little, like, flavor down there. So the little girl looks at me, oh, oral sex gel. We have a whole shelf over here. What do you like? Strawberry, banana, peach, we have it all. I'm like, uh, we'll go with the strawberry. Okay, she says, is there anything else that you like? I said, uh, I think we're good. <laughs> she said, are you a member of our club? I don't think so. She says, well, it's free to join, and you get 10% off today. And I said, okay, sign me up. So she signs me up, and she says, oh, if you're signing up today, you get a free cock ring. <laughs> a cock ring? I said, is that for him or is that for me? She says, well, you put it on your penis, and it holds the blood in. I said, I guess that's for me then. <laughs> so I said to her, well, what happens if it doesn't fit? 
And she says, bring it back, I'll give you a smaller one. <laughs> so we pay, we get in the car, I drive away and I said, could I ever have this conversation with my father? Back when I was a kid? This is how that would probably go. Hey dad, will you go with me to the Romantic Depot? What's the matter? I said, no, no, will you go with me to the Romantic Depot? Now he was hard of hearing most of the time, so he would probably say, what do you need at the Home Depot? I probably have it in the basement. I said, no dad, not the Home Depot, the Romantic Depot. He says, why do you need to go to a place like that? I said, it's a sex club. What do you need to go to a place like that? I said, Dad, I have this new girlfriend named Janet. And she likes like a flavor down here. He looks at me and he says, go in the closet. We got a whole big jar of Bosco. It's just this good. Thank you very much. Everybody.